We're sort of getting junk done, and today we're going to try and fix an air mattress. The air mattress has sprung a small leak, and if you've ever tried to sleep on an air mattress with a small leak, you actually find yourself in the middle of the night, flattened on the floor, probably wrapped around with a uh, force field of vinyl, and you can't fight your way out too easily. So we're going to try and fix it, and to do that, I first stopped at a uh, pool supply, you know, an outside swimming pool supply, and um, I asked them about a vinyl repair patch kit, and the guy actually taught me how to buy it. He told me that if you were to buy that, it's actually designed for the water pressure to push it up against the wall, and what I need is something that pushes against the air pressure, so he suggested a bicycle tire repair patch kit. And uh, so I just got back from Walmart, and uh, that's what I picked up. And it was considerably cheaper. So not only did that guy talk me out of a sale, but he ended up saving me some money, too, which I appreciate whenever that happens. So I got, it was a $2 uh, slime tire repair kit, and I'm hoping that is good enough. So it was, it was $1.97, something like that. So we're going to put this on. Uh, first, got to find the leak. And to do that, we got a spray bottle. We'll put some uh, soapy water in there. And, fill it up and spray around some of the corners and the seams and hoping it's a small leak and we'll see what happens there. So once we find the leak then we'll try that tire patch repair kit and uh, see if that helps. Here's the air mattress that has a, a leak and we have yet to find a leak to do that. I just got a spray bottle, put some soapy water in there and I'm going to go along the seams and spray some of this soapy water on there. The hope is that if I find the leak with the soapy water the leak will actually make more bubbles in the soapy water and therefore identifying where the leak is. So that's the hope. Now I, I have it flipped upside down. I'm hoping that the leak is on the bottom because that'll be a lot easier to fix than having on that felt type of material that's on the top. Now you gotta sand that away. And this, let's hope that the leak is on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around with the soapy water to all the seams here and look for bubbles. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you what I find if I ever find a leak. And it turns out we weren't so lucky. The hole was not on the plain vinyl side. I sprayed the entire bottom down with the soapy water hoping to find the hole and I couldn't find it. Turns out the best way that I could find it was just use my hand and kind of hold it uh, an inch or so away from the edge of the of the bed itself and I could feel the air rushing from the bed at a certain spot. Turns out there's two holes here, and it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but there's two shown, and we're going to use one patch for both. Now, being that it's on the felt section, what we need to do is first sand away the felt, and I'm going to show you what I had to do here. So let's take a look. So the kit itself that I bought for the $1.97 is pretty complete. It comes with the sandpaper, and you follow the directions that come in that little kit. You sand away all the little felt, and you get it down to bare vinyl. Try not to go too far, because then you're actually going to be rubbing a hole in the vinyl, and it's going to be a bigger problem. Once you get the felt sanded away, you take the rubber cement and you just put a little dab on the hole itself. You're going to take the patch, and it comes with a couple different patches, different sizes. Find the one that works best for the side. You're going to peel the foil backing off and put it on the rubber cement. You're going to hold it there for a minute, let it sit there for a few minutes after that, and it'll kind of form this bond. After it's done sitting, you go back and you pull off that plastic cover that's on the other side, on the outside of the patch. And at, and at that, that point, point you should be done. done. You're going to want to fill this thing up with the air and hope that it holds and maybe test it for the first night. And if it doesn't hold any air, either your patch failed or there's an additional hole that you need to look for. So be very careful when applying this patch so you make sure you cover the hole entirely. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please click like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I can be found on Twitter at Getting Junk Done. Thanks for watching. So to get junk done, and today we're going to try and fix an air mattress. The air mattress has sprung a small leak, and if you've ever tried to sleep on an air mattress with a small leak, you actually find yourself in the middle of the night, flattened on the floor, probably wrapped around with a... Uh,